podcast, you've had some updates um, prior to the full autumn term. Just wanted to show you um, a little tour of the, the features that they've added. So first of all, if I'm in classroom.google.com, logged into my Google Apps for Education domain, then I'm going to create a class. And here's where you'll see some of the first changes. So the class name, which has always been required, whatever it may be, the section option is still there, but the additional one is subject. And quite excitingly, if you start to type, um, you get a number of pre-filled options. which might be helpful. So we've now created our class and obviously you can, you've got the, the subjects to sort by. The uh, next thing we want to have a look at is when you add an assignment, You've still got the option to post to more than one class at the same time, though that's moved from the bottom here up to the top. And that's to make space for you to add a topic. So here in my geography class, I can create a topic and I can assign and now I can, on the left hand side, sort by topic. So if you've got several topics, it will just select the assignments relative, re relevant to that particular topic. It's another nice feature to help you manage your classroom more effectively. And I think the one that everyone's been talking about or uh, looking for, where we, a number of schools have different systems to communicate with parents is that you can now, if you go to the students tab, you can now invite parents and guardians. Uh, so there's a guardian email summary here on the left hand side. You have the option to include the class or not. And if you do include the class and you can add all classes at the same time, there's no particular issue in doing that because all that you end up um, doing is just enabling that feature it doesn't automatically invite anyone let's just get some students in my class if you're not familiar with how i had my groups there automatically that's something that can be done in the admin so if your classes and students are in google groups um, then you can automatically invite them if you're in that group too And again, if I go to students, I've now turned that on. And what I can do is I can start inviting guardians. And if I wanted to invite more than one, then I can do that too. So let's invite. And then we'll just have a look at the email and what that looks like when the parent receives it. So here's the email I've received. Um, interestingly, that my mail thinks it's junk, so you might just want to be aware of that particular issue if you have any questions from parents about not receiving uh, emails like that. Um, then it gives the parent or guardian the option to accept or point out that there's been a mistake and they're not the guardian of that particular student. So I've accepted and it's now going to take me into classroom as a parent and I've got this summary here of how often would you like to receive an email summary. I think I'm going to go for weekly and uh, just a clarification on the time zone. And then you're good to go. So that means that as the teacher of the class you've got the option at the top to email all guardians. So a little bit of admin set up at the beginning of the year to get your parent emails in. Um, I'm sure it won't take long for someone to work out a way of automating that. Um, and now you can 
contact parents and keep them up to date with what's going on in your Google Classroom. I think that's a great feature, um, so enjoy using it in the new term.